What's up, Hans family? Welcome to Hans Ween, which you know the drill, is 31 tutorials in the month of October, meaning a new video air day. I know I've been going ham in the special effects, so I gotta give my beauty bitches a little love too. This is a witch, sorceress, enchantress, I don't know. All product details and Halloween tips are below, let's get started. Man, I am still stained as shit from yesterday's look, as you can probably see hanging in the background looming for death. First off, custom mixing a light green foundation shade. I buff this into my skin with a flat kabuki brush. I'm using cream paints and a cream foundation for this mixture. I wanted more of a sickly shade instead of straight up green. Drag this down onto your neck and any other skin that may show through your costume. Since you're working with cream based products, you do want to set them. Use a translucent powder of your choice all over your face and body, focusing on the areas that usually crease. To highlight the high points of our face, I'm using a white eyeshadow. Pack that on under the eyes, the middle of the forehead, the chin, and the collarbones. We are green, so to contour, I am using a dark matte green shadow. With padding motions, I put down the shadow in the shape of the contour we are creating. Bringing the color down by our mouths will give a more hollowed outlook, which I'm pretty into. I want to contour like this every day, not gonna lie. Add more as you go to darken underneath, where we want our cheekbone to look like it's just popping out. If confused as to where exactly to put your contour, feel around your face to see where your natural cheekbone is in your skull. Pretty metal. To give a cohesive look, I put some color around my nose just to slim it and around the tip to give a little button nose illusion. Added a little bit in my cupid's bow because I love that shit, then darken the front of the brows. To keep with the hollowed look effect, darken around your collarbones. If you're like me, with some extra meat on your bones, just push out your collarbones, then add shadow to see exactly where they are. Contouring is just the best. You can chisel out your jaw with it. You can look 10 pounds lighter. I love it, man. The green in this look is so muted, so with a large brush I added some lime green shadow around the perimeter of the face and our sexy bod. Moving on to the eyes, I'm focusing on purple, because purple and green together are a blast and a half. Pack on the shadow around the inner corners and make a circular shape into your brows for an exaggerated effect. I'm blending a bit between each layer of the shadow, but keeping the darkest part right under the brow. Add black under the brow to make that part super dark and start bringing the lower lash line into the look. I love the look of a bit of kind of puffy eyes, so I'm mainly keeping the shadow in this small crease under my eye, deepening it as I go. Blend out the purple, and then add some black right into that crease and up against that lash line. For a pop of some shimmer, pack on some silver pigment right on the lid, and if you do pat it on the lid, you can blend it nicely into the purple without pulling up any of the product underneath. Our little witch lady needed some blushing cheeks, so I added a bit of pink and purple shadow with a light application just on the apples of the cheeks. I don't know why, but I forget to highlight looks all the damn time, even just on regular beauty looks. But since we are going beauty, let's go all out and make this lady all ethereal. I'm using Jeffree Star's Ice Cold for this because it's nice and light. For the lips, I'm blocking them out with cream paint, which I'm just going to cover anyways, so you don't even need to do that, and then adding some green shadow around the outline of my lips, blending that outward so they're all smoky. Going in now with a light purple liquid lipstick just to fill and overline, because duh, I gotta overline, then using black shadow to darken the outsides of the lips. I really wanted to play up that smoky effect on the lips, so grab your green eyeshadow again to blend around them, adding back more black as you go so it's a nice gradient. I intensified my beauty mark that I already have there, and added a little purple shadow in the outer corners of the lips. For a creepy doll-like look, I cut up some PC lashes and glued that to my bottom lash line, then popped on my favorite lashes of all time, Risqué by Coco Lashes. 
You can do your eyebrows however you please, but I wanted some fierce ass ones for this look. I kept mainly with my natural shape using a liquid liner, but making them just a bit more sharp towards the tail and fluffy towards the front. Put the tiniest bit of highlighter on the center of my lips so they were all pouty. Then threw on a wig and some contacts. I was going to be done, but I couldn't help myself. I just had to add some veins. You can do this with a dark purple shadow and a small detail brush, pulling the color downwards in a little veining motion. It helps if the color is almost all the way dispensed off your brush by the time you pick it up at the end so that it fades nicely into your skin. You can also pat the color down too. And that is the entire look, my Hans family. I hope you guys liked it. You could use this with a witch, sorcerer, enchantress, like I said before. I don't know. Do it with you will. Do what it with you will. Jesus, I can't speak. Use the hashtag Hansween if you recreate this look. I hope you enjoyed this more beauty tutorial for you guys that do like beauty. I love the fuck out of you, and I'll see you tomorrow.